The unstoppable slayer of furniture returns to Castle Ensis to take dear revenge upon the disgusting garbage knight that was perched at the end of this silly walkway. Everybody's dead in my wake. I have marked that for some reason. Don't ask me why. Why did I mark this? Oh, that's right. That's right. Because your father, you know, he goes after Butthole, sniffing her trail, and discovers things that Butthole may have missed. And Butthole indeed missed a whole freaking trail over here that ends in a freaking dungeon. So we're going to go back there. As soon as I take my retribution from this filthy garbage holy night that stopped me in my tracks, we're going to spread madness upon his cranium and there's nothing that he's going to be able to do about it. It's so easy to pound my ass into this, into the ground. Oh, that's right, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Every single time I forget that I turn it off for the silly intro. Uh, that is actually not a whole lot of damage. <laughs> it's all right. We'll uh, teach this man a lesson. We're gonna lure him into our trap, our dastardly, unstoppable. Oh man, he's not. He's not. He ain't stopping. <laughs> he ain't stopping. I meant to do the. He actually takes a drink. How could you do this? How could you do this? To me? Oh, that delay is just too strong. Too strong. I can't handle this. <laughs> he just keeps chasing. <laughs> he has no end to how far he will go. To absolutely mur murder your ass. Uh, as I have established before, I have established quite clearly, I have zero conflict in my heart. Oh, jeez. Every time this super delay is designed to kill my ilk, the ilk of panic rollers that will just spam that <laughs> roll button and try to flee as soon as possible with zero reason involved but it's all right i like i said i have zero problem exploiting fa faults in the ai the cards are always stacked against me i'm going to turn the tide no matter how scummy the tactic but it's not true i will draw the line at a certain tactics that are just extra super duper cheesy but you know it, it really depends on what i'm facing it's just some mook that i know i can defeat a number of ways and it's just this way it will make it more expedient sure i will use the cheap tactic if it's a boss fight that is like man this is a really good boss fight i don't want to sully it with cheese you know i'll uh, i'll go out of my way to beat it in a proper manner it all depends on the context. Seems like I can simply jump out of here. There's a freaking lobster down there that I don't want to face. What am I looking at right now? A place that I have never been. All right. Interesting. So I can actually jump down there. Possibly for no reward. I just activated that. So it makes a ton of sense to go exploring. Make sure that maybe... I'm not missing out on something delicious. Something shiny and beautiful, valuable, and life-changing. There's nothing to be found here, though. But it seems like this is actually the path to f fall all the way down to, uh, to the land beneath this castle. Oops. Okay, well, <laughs> I have missed the bird. I am a piece of garbage. What you got? What you got in this tower? Just a spiral staircase to heaven? Perhaps there will be incredible blowjobs at the top of this tower. I cannot wait. But who? She is not equipped for to enjoy such things. But, you know, she can accommodate volunteers. They'll work something out. Don't worry about it. They're creative. They know uh, a thing or two about adapting to regular and irregular sexual pleasures. Ash of War wing stands. Very cool, very cool. What is the Ash of War on this thing? It's just... I put the fire. The fire stands. I can just jump down, huh? 
Probably there's some kind of reward by jumping down this way. Nope, absolutely not. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, this seems to circle back to the castle. Is there an actual path? All the way to the bottom. Let's go find out before I go through this bridge. I want to know whether this is actually a path that I can simply jump down from into these lands beneath. That looks like way too far. Yeah, it's way too far. But maybe there's steps? No. No, this seems like completely unattainable that I can possibly reach the bottom here. So let's circle back to the castle. See what we may find. And we can always simply teleport back to the side of Grace. Because I can just drop. Should be okay. I think this is exactly a place where I was. No? Yeah, it sure is. What the massive waste of time. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't. Wing stands. I want to check it out. Oh, well. Let's get back to the side of Grace. I can simply teleport, baby. Castle Lore's chamber. Seems like we are actually getting to some kind of inner private abode that perhaps shall yield a boss fight of sorts. Let me check out this wing stance, though. Let's see. Calmly assume a right side stance. Normal attack triggers a rapid three slash combination. Strong attack triggers a leaping thrust. Of course, we're going to check it out. Do I want to keep putting on the fire? Or do I want to? Do I want to put some heavy plus electricity on it, like the uh, all the other kind of standard weapons? Without being able to enchant it with the fire, feels kind of wasteful. Let's just go with the heavy plus buff. Even though the scaling is kind of ass, do I have? Yeah, we still have that, that equipped. We can just move around with our electrify armament. But first, let's check out this wing stance. This is the most badass stance you could possibly imagine. That is the heavy. That is so cool. That is super cool. <laughs> I really like that. I mean, I don't know how useful it is, but it sure is cool. Man, that... Try butthole message that I left way back in the consecrated snow fields. It really is paying dividends. Indeed, we do have a boss fight. Let's do it. I am one to face my fears head on. Let's start with black flame protection and we'll adapt after our inevitable demise. Oh, yeah, we have the stamina. Thing. Oh, we have a lady with twin blades. Rilana, twin moon knight. Block. Retaliate. Wow, okay. You are very fast. <laughs> you are very hyperactive as well. But you are standing on water. This lightning is very timely. Let us fight in the poodle of water, please. Uh, because the puddle, the puddle of water. You're going to take a ton of extra damage from my lightning attacks. Ow. Whoopla! That is not a ton of damage. Okay, how about you hang back and uh, let me heal up? Wonder she, she must stagger. Like any kind of... What? <laughs> well, we seem to be... Input reading, we simply to uh, perhaps require some magic damage. Oh, okay. Magic damage negation. Hey, she attacks so fast. So fast. Do you want to stagger? You really don't want to stagger, huh? Oh, she broke me. Oh, <laughs> mistakes were made. Please hang back. <laughs> oh, she has a follow-up. Holy crap. Just please give me a little bit of time. I was trying to run away from that. Continue spamming my heals. We're not even halfway through her health pool. Okay. <laughs> this is problematic. Oh. Yeah, okay. You cannot just block that. That is foolish and buffoonish all right let's uh 
not coming here with an experimental build. Let's go back to something that I'm far more familiar with. A moveset that I can that I can uh, better take advantage of. The thing is, a shield seems very helpful against this spammer of a lady. Clearly, we also want some electricity because we are standing on on the pool on the on the pool on the puddle for the entire duration. Let's go with the backhanded electrified swords. See if we can make something happen with that. We're no longer wielding a giant super shield. We can also get some better equipment. So, all right, we got this. Certainly, I don't need the I don't need the decks anymore. So, of course, we're going to get some. She seems to be, have both fire and magic. Let's equip the fire protection, and then I'll use the magic reduction spell. Or maybe the Pearl Drake, which gives you plus 5% to everything. Which is maybe not that significant. Mm. Mostly protective talismans. I, I feel like that's something that people may have neglected by a lot. Just focus on your own protection instead of m causing a ton of damage. We're going to use the Rune Arc, but perhaps... It's a something that I'm going to avoid after she completely destroys me several times. This is Lita, isn't it? Needle Knight Lita. It, I am so conflicted because it's like these are NPCs that are part of the story, right? Oh, she's supposed to be helping you in this fight. But of course I want to face this boss all by myself. It's another thing that I want to do is take away the stamina requirement from the flask. Let's get that done quickly. Instead of what is there, we probably want some kind of, like, uh, even more damage negation. Charge attacks. Uh, boost poise. Resistance and heals. All damage negation. Just continue reducing the damage we take. I don't need extra damage. I don't need... I think that is better than the bubble. Can I maybe loot something behind? No. Uh, better than the negate the first attack. You want something that negates damage over time. Like a, 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 cumulative, a cumulative effect. Anyway. Let's get all these going on. Barrier of gold. Maybe I should wait until we're halfway through the fight to cast this. But whatever. Let's cast that golden vow. And electrify like you should maybe start with the black flame protection and then you switch to the other did, did we carry a whole bunch of runes in here i would like to find out please stop attacking me <laughs> right i mean that's a decent pile of runes wow i was supposed to attack them <laughs> fail miserably to land my attacks. Holy crap. Oh, she totally improved that. Man, she just won't stop. She's relentless. I do have a problem with the sidestep Asha Ward type of attack. It's like, it never lands. <laughs> it's so unreliable. It's mostly the nice dodge okay, we got a very clearly instead of trying to get some damage in we gotta learn some movesets here there's no way this lady is going to allow me to just tank her attacks but she had she did have a follow-up that's right that, that did so much less damage though Ooh! Yeah, I'm dead. did a ton less damage with the magic damage protection should I even bother with these runes? Probably not, right? I did because I am a massive rune whore. If I were to guess, probably your best strategy against her, of course, is learn the moveset, right? <laughs> Pretty important. But, oh, something I forgot to do was the magic damage negation. Um, 
learn the moveset, pretty important. But also get a big, fat, heavy attacker. We'll probably bust out the anvil. Try to get some big poise damage. Uh, because it's, you know, any kind of humanoid type of enemy. Oh, I need to uh, learn the timing for that follow-up. Swords. Any kind of humanoid type of enemy, it always feels like you can stagger that. Ow. Barrier of gold, please. We're entering second phase territory. What are you doing there? Alright. In the back. I'm going to bust out the big. Oh! Oh, super! <laughs> super fire whirlwind. Oh, that should have totally landed. At least it landed, right? I need a pile more stamina to survive this car crap. <laughs> it just ain't working. That should have totally landed the attack. Wow, that was a ton of damage. Ooh! Stop so that I may heal. Uh, follow up. The follow up. It's deceptively quick. You, Ooh. twin moon. <laughs> oh, well, definitely need to jump through that, huh? I'm out of healing. Oh. <laughs> you absolute bitch. Oh, I mean, we got real close. Let's maybe... I really am surprised she didn't stagger in once. I was chaining the attacks pretty consistently, but... Hmm. Maybe switch to the giant anvil hammer. See what it takes to stagger this biatch. And this time I'm gonna go in with the black flame protection and then switch over to the barrier of gold. All right, let's see. Gonna do nothing but jump attacks. Try to get a stagger. Fairly aggressive. Especially phase one doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. Alright, a stagger. Fairly easy to get when you have a weapon that does more poise than a toothpick attack. <laughs> uh, pretty helpful. I mean, she's already this far, huh? Please do not murder me while I'm healing. I do not appreciate it. Wow! Absolutely destroyed. So, you know, pros and cons. <laughs> My stamina gets 100% drain in two seconds. But we gotta stagger super quick. If you want to get through the first phase fast, that is a, a fantastic way to get it done. How about, how about you eat a giant anvil? I'm gonna retrieve my runes because I cannot help myself. Ow! An essential part of beating every boss, though, is to actually land the attacks that you attack them with. Otherwise, you know, I don't think you're going to deplete the health bar when half your attacks don't actually land on their person. It's like an advanced tip that I'm giving you here, but if you really make that happen, it's a big part of getting things done. How about a national war attack here? You do get a chance to get a nice hit. Oh, super flame tornado. Very cool. We like it. Oh, what? Oh yeah, take the giant hit, baby! We're gonna charge up a heavy attack. Thirst! <laughs> oh baby. Alright, alright. Give me a little bit of time. I'm gonna tank it because I think, yeah, our magic protection was still on. Oh, wow. That's what I was hoping for. 
for a little bit of healing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you hit any roadblock, you change strategies to see what works. Do pretty, pretty great. Relana has eaten my giant anvil to the head. You, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't want to sound smug. I don't want to toot my own horn. Especially because probably we're going to encounter at some point an enemy that no amount of adaptation is going to, is going to prevent me from getting absolutely humiliated. But it feels pretty great to kind of like see what an enemy may be weak against use it and turn out that wow that really was effective <laughs> that was enormously effective feeling pretty good about changing strategies and uh getting past it that way let's check out whatever she gives me i'm going to assume she gives me those badass twin weapons that there's no way butthole can use let's see what you got remembrance of the twin moon knight the power of its namesake can be unlocked blah 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 uh, once, a once a Carrion princess, Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesmer's side instead, knowing full well that not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor. Before long, she became known as the Sword of Mesmer. Wonder why, like, she's right here. Renala, Relana. Not very imaginative. Makes me feel like they may be sisters. <laughs> Like, they're, they're very, the pattern seems to be very, very clear. Similar names, they are family. You got Moog and Morgoth. You got Marika. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, Melania. Mikla, they all sound really, really similar. Those two may be sisters, but let's check out what the rewards may be. Let's see. The Twin Blades, Intelligence and Faith, unfortunately. We could boost the stats just to get that. Because this is a, this is just a, a sorcery, right? I'm never going to use it. In my current incarnation, I had to lean over to turn on the fan because it's too freaking hot in here. So let's just grab the swords. At the very least, we can have them in our inventory, hang them. In our cool cabin in the woods, we'll have a nice display. Something pretty great about the outcome of that fight. Ensis, Castellor's Chamber, Moon Gazing Grounds, that's the one. And now I have the choice. I, I need to go back to explore that cave that I missed. I must. But I saw one of the crosses of Nicola. We must go back in there and at the very least get there. We're in the Skibbity Tree Altus. If we keep on going forward, this shall be a map. Looking forward to it. Sorry, Lida. I did not ask for your help. I did not need it. Again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation. From places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless, I have a big imagination. At first glance. Were it not for the charm Are they from the moon? Put upon Are they from Alpha Centauri? This is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living god. Tell me about the horn scent. The horn scent are you? True enough. In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long oh, ago, it's a person? Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the tower folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn scent holds the earth tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. And in this regard, the tower folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. But it's still a wretched shame. I barely understand One what you're talking about. Enough, long ago, okay, uh, let me just walk away from you so you shut up. Check out another one of these crosses. Oh yes, give it a tree fragment. I abandon here. My heart. I knew Mikola was a heartless bitch. Uh, <laughs> this Mikola individual seems to be the kind tyrant type. You cannot fool me, Miyazaki. I know what you're up to. Uh, what did I want to do here? Ah, I don't have enough for another upgrade to my 
Monk's missive. May the best win. All right, all right. Inventory. A letter bearing a terse message of an illustration of a monk. His hand held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There's no need for words, but there will be swords. And here's the weirdo wrapped in the warm face. My fellow, I found the site of a new cross. Take this. I don't need your crap. I literally can see them from seven miles away. They are like literal beacons of light in this land of shadow. Maybe These are the most worthless maps you can possibly create. How about you spend your time doing something useful, like gathering mushrooms to sell me? I don't like it. Okay, you gave me some attitude when we first met. So, I don't like you. Let me uh, go back to what we, we were wielding before this rude interruption. Oh, that's right. We did need some dexterity to be able to wield that. That's okay. We'll continue doing it. Get rid of this garbage. Get me one of those. Looking pretty great. Get me... Now that I'm not wielding that giant monstrosity, I can get even fatter armor on. Oh, baby. Now let's just rock this just two-handed like a champion, like an absolute boss. And we're going to check out that path that I missed. But first... There's a fellow, like this guy, right here. He wanted me to tell him where all the crosses are at, right? I found like seven more. All you need to do is like literally open your eyes and keep your head on a swivel and you'll see 70 new crosses. Righteous ton. Okay, you, <laughs> you have depleted. Uh, I guess you only wanted to know the two that are around you. Everything else is way too far for comfort, I suppose. Let's go back to this one. And we're going to go down that path that I missed earlier. Something that I didn't think about is coming up to this fella. Coming up to this fella and trying to heal him. Then you think about it. You know, we, we do have warming stones. I didn't need a, a freaking spell. I mean, if you have no legs and no arms, kind of difficult to heal your wounds. But uh, do I even have attached any kind of healing? I don't think I do. It's just Blessing's Boon. No, I don't think this is going to work for him. Eh? I mean, it was worth a tr try, right? He's all shiny and nice. Let's just leave him with a Blessing's Boon. Here you go. You will eventually get back to your health. Let it not be said that I don't have... Uh, Caring, loving heart. All right, the thing that I found was way down this path. And I did get invaded with your father. Because I didn't realize that, hey, I, I haven't gone down this way with Butthole. So there is an invasion coming right now. Go oh, away, you filthy, filthy stone vulture. I hate you. Let me get myself fully buffed for this absolute buffoon. We're going to visit pain about this. Ancient Dragon Man, attack! Okay. Yeah. I will calmly wing stands my way to victory here. Get destroyed. Oh, he just keeps going, huh? <laughs> wow, pathetic. <laughs> this Ancient Dragon Man has been hibernating for eons only for Butthole to come around and humiliate the crap out of this poor bastard. Doesn't even give me anything. What a piece of scum that he is. Anyway, to my recollection, that's where I stopped. So, uh, let's see what we can find down here. No, no, I kept going. I kept going, and I found the entrance of a cave. Because, you know, it was like... If it's like a silly dead end, where you just get invaded and that's it. But no. But no. There's an actual freaking cave down here. I'm looking forward to exploring it. Oh, forgot to get my rune arc back on. Helping me in my travels. Hopefully nothing horrendously humiliating will be on the other side of this path. Is that or is that like a boss fight? Uh, no, it looked, you know, it had the yellow glow of a boss fight, but it ain't. 
Anyway, we got all these runes. I have continued saying that I, we're going all the way to level 200. Let's get ourselves to uh, 30 endurance, like I said. And after that, we'll probably just keep pumping damage. Or maybe we'll just round out some annoying stats. Give myself a little bit more dexterity so I can wield things without changing amulets. Get myself a little bit more mind, maybe? I don't know. We got some dragonkin skeletons. I don't know. This guy takes a hell of a beating. You have uh, a friend. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Else I will have to humiliate you in terrible ways. Let me my buff go away. I don't know when it happened, but I resent it. Ooh. They're not going to catch me. You. Absolute scumbag trying to get me. Ow! That was enormously painful. Holy crap. Oh, that's right. They come back to life. These are annoying as hell. But we can solve that. We can definitely solve that by changing weapons. One of these. I know one. Hey! We're going. Oh, I think a fat roll now. Yeah, so we gotta tone it down with this giant armor. There you go. We have some sacred armament on this one. You piece of trash. <laughs> we got one of these. Oh! Absolutely obliterates the skeletons. Love it. We're going to rock it. Through the entire the dungeon, probably, unless the type of enemy changes. Hello. Mm, very intriguing. Very deep, too. I, I didn't realize we were going somewhere... So damn fat. Oh, no stagger, no? Correct. Oh yeah, the sacred power of butthole compels you to never again bother me with your nonsense. Ooh, look at these idiots. <laughs> Get destroyed. <laughs> so satisfying. After struggling with... After struggling... Or rather being annoyed. You don't really ever struggle with skeleton types in this game. With very few exceptions. Uh, just getting annoyed with skeleton types. It is so nice to use the sacred power of Marika or wherever the hell it comes from, the Elden Ring itself, to actually put them to rest immediately and fulminatingly. Burst! Oh, well, I missed because Grey Hammers are actually ass. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, depends on the Grey Hammer, but... Uh, It has such short range. It does need to be imbued, though. Can't just smash on things for no, with no rhyme or reason. You gotta have that sacred power on. Well, there's a path down. There's a path. Up, uh, excuse me. Buffoon. Let's go up. Seems like most dungeons, the deeper you go, the closer you get to the boss fight. So. Let's go up first. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> There's a giant freaking worm here. Uh, don't appreciate it. Doesn't do a ton of damage to me. Whoa. <sighs> so annoying. <laughs> anyway, flame protect me, please. Ah! This hammer. Not the greatest hammer. <laughs> But it's definitely not a boss fight, it's just a random super worm that happens to make this as its home. Come on, bro. We do need some more juice, though. Maybe jumping that will be helpful. That'll be great. You're gonna do the thing, right? No, you're not. Man, barely tickling this thing. Oh, 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 pretty close to getting burned. Yeah, I was hoping for a stagger. Unfortunately, the floor is lava. There you go. Almost didn't get it. Don't even want to use my flask. Man, that was super delayed. He looks funky though. He looks different. Doesn't he? To the all the other magma worms. How can I only have one flask, though? This is just outrageous. 
Hey, finally. Oh, I felt that one in my own cranium. That, that impact somehow was way stronger than uh, what I'm used to. I might as well flame protect me again. Actually made us well do some blessings boon. We need health that doesn't come from the flask. I don't know if I'll be able to withstand enough damage Aha. to uh, survive this because we have barely any flask left. Are you rolling or are you shooting? You're shooting. Wait it out, or just wait back here until it decides to come back close again. How about you eat one of these sacred blades? What? That's cheating. This was cheating. I feel like I should have landed. Okay, that's like my last charge, I think. Hey, that should be it. Get wrecked. Filthy magma worm. Thing is, this is kind of like out of the path. A very nice to get an ancient dragon stone. Very, very nice. There's a little piece of loot over here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, this does seem to be out of the regular path, so we can probably just go back to the side of grace. That's where I came from. Back to the side of grace, replenish the pile of health flasks. And uh, just kill a few more skeletons. You know, re kill them. Uh huh, uh huh. This goes back to where I was. Especially, you know, we're probably going to be heading toward the boss fight arena, and I have zero flasks. Somehow, killing a giant magma worm gave me literally zero charges. Be brave. Show no fear. No fear ahead. Okay? Okay? I am afraid. I'm going to go back to the side of Grace. I'll get my health back. Look! When you play Elden Ring, you have two choices. You can be a buffoon that heads headlong into trouble and then dies a bajillion times because you refuse to do the smart thing. Or you can have a head on your shoulders and you can do smart things that yield effective results. That's what we're doing. Okay, so get off my back. Maybe not the smartest thing I ever did to completely ignore all the enemies coming out this way. But, you know, after I get done talking about how smart I am, look at it. I'm so freaking smart they actually don't come down here. Ha! <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> Let me uh, give myself some blessings. I mean to use that one. I meant to use Golden Vow. I will start with the Black Flame Protection, okay? And I will see if we can use our incredible power of holiness against what? I mean, clearly, clearly, right? You just told me have no fear. Just go forward. Don't be a pussy, is what the game is telling me. Just jump forward. And an invisible bridge shall catch me. But, here's my counter argument Miyazaki is a freaking troll. So, we're going to get to the edge. We're going to go into your inventory, scroll down to our favorite stone. Thank you. Thank you, Miyazaki. You're, you're, you're a great guy. Well,. Uh, strategy number two. We scroll down to the bow. Mmm. Absolutely nothing in the way. <laughs> There's no path here. Bruh. I will not be bamboozled. I'm not walking. Praise the edge. How about down? Jumping required ahead. Jumping off required ahead. None of them are saying liar ahead. Be brave, show no fear. No fear ahead. <sighs> You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me.
<sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll do it. Okay, well, vindicated. <laughs> I mean, indeed it was a deadly drop. But it was just a matter of embracing stupidity. <laughs> just, just ignore what your silly eyes and ears are telling you. And just have faith. Alright, wonder what we're going to find back here. Probably something fire-based. If it's uh, some kind of dragon. Let's do it. Oh, it's a person. Ancient dragon man. I uh, literally just murdered you. Here, have one of these. Straight to the face. And then eat a whole bunch of these attacks. Ow. Oh, I do quite a bit of damage. Don't you want to heal yourself? No? No? Durst! Not so fun, is it? Not so fun. Wanna, wanna attack me again? A good Durst! <laughs> like... It's, a uh, pretty funky. The amount of damage that you negate by blocking. Oh, mistakes were made! Thankfully, I was saved. My incredible incompetence? Jeez! Oh, My incredible incompetence was safeguarded by the fact that I drank a flask. Wow! Whoa, <laughs> that was a, a high damage attack. I do like the big bunker though. Did a ton of poise damage. Seems like we can be way more aggressive against this guy. Instead of taking the hit for the guard counter. I mean, once he is comboing me to death, maybe not tank it. <laughs> that will help a lot. But uh, if he's getting wrecked, just keep wrecking him. Wow, that... Oh. Ah! <laughs> I didn't heal, what the... That was weird. Stop, stop attacking me. Like, he has literally zero po poise. So, you can really destroy him. Okay, well, uh, hyper armor is a thing, and he has plenty of it when he's charging up the dragon attack. Man, he's one ugly son of a bitch, holy crap! Pretty humiliating, honestly. It feels like he really is not that big a deal. I mean, he does spam a pretty badass Ash of War. And I do feel like I, I am... In fact, gimping myself with this weapon. The reach on this weapon is so ass. I always think that it's going to land when it ain't. Please. There you go. Like if the attacks land, it's good. If they don't land, it's hot garbage. Roll catch. Maybe roll catch. Oh! What? Thing is to block with this weapon you really need to have the stamina or you will be absolutely obliterated actually the, the tracking on that is hot garbage isn't it just ignore the crap out of it how about maybe stun lock you that'll be great there you go <laughs> it's just a matter of getting him to a corner and hammer raping him dragon hunter's great katana uh the colors displayed by that katana already tell me it's going to be an arcane weapon. It is not an arcane weapon, my bad. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Formerly a dragon communion warrior, the ancient dragon man was once arbiter of those worthy to devour the dreaded one. Dragon wound slash. What kind of requirements does he have? I want to use it. I can wield this thing. I would have 20 dexterity somehow. How? Oh, because I never took out this thing. All right, never mind. We will make it usable. It's just another heavy katana, but it sounds badass as all hell. We're going to use the, the crap out of it. Looks like a door, though. Where might this lead? 
I was ready to finish the episode, but there's a door with treasure behind it. I'm going to find out. Find out what lies be beyond. Side of Grace? May this be a tunnel to an entirely different area of the game? I guess I am ready to discover what lies beyond in the next episode.